Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create fun learning activities for kids. Our activities focus on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. My name is Emma and I'm going to be helping you out today. In today's activity, we will be learning of how to use bar graphs and picture graphs and answer questions about them. All right, to start off, let's talk about what a bar graph and a picture graph are. So this is a bar graph. This is what a bar graph looks like. The things we are measuring are on the bottom. So we're measuring colored markers in this bar graph. So on the bottom, we'll have our categories. We have red and blue. Each group has a bar that says how many there are. And the amount we have is on the side. So the amount is here. So you can have up to four colored markers. And then each one has a bar that goes up to that amount. So for red, for example, if you go all the way up and then drag your finger over, you can see we have four red markers. And if you go all the way up to the top of the blue and you drag your finger over, you'll see we have two blue markers. So now let's talk about a picture graph. A picture graph has pictures in it to show how many there are. For a picture graph, the groups are on the side instead of on the bottom. So they're on the side like this. And then the number of how many we can have is on the bottom like that. So the groups we have for this graph are hearts, stars, and circles. And for example, we know that there are two hearts because there are two pictures of hearts in the graph. And we know there are three stars because there are three pictures of stars in the graph. And then we have one circle because we see one circle in the graph. We can also use the bottom to see how many we have. So here we have one of each, two, three, and then none of them have four. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make a bar graph together. So let's get out our supplies. So the first thing you're gonna need is a plain piece of white paper, a pencil, markers or colored pencils, and then some colored candy. All right, so to start our bar graph, we're going to take our plain piece of paper and then either a black marker, a pen, a pencil, something like that, and we're going to draw the base of our bar graph. So we're going to go up and we're going to go right about here on this side to where my marker tip is, and we're going to go down and draw a line. Then we're going to go to the bottom of this line and we're going to go over and we're going to draw a line going over, going this way. Now we're going to go back to this first line that we drew and we're going to write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 going up the line. So I started right here and I wrote 1 and then I'm going to do another one I'll write 2, go up a little more, write 3, and I'm going to draw a line so that you can kind of move over from the bar to see how many it is. 4, and one more. Five. So now I have one through five on the side of my graph. So now we're going to go to the second line, this line, and we're going to write the different groups spaced out. So we're going to go to the bottom, and in this first group we're going to write blue candies. Then we're going to space it out a little bit, we're going to move over a little, and we're going to write red candies. Now we're going to space it out just a little bit more. And the last one we're gonna write is green candies. So when you're done with all of that, it should look something like this. So now we're gonna move our graph over and we're gonna measure the amounts of small candies. So the first thing I want you to do is take four green candies out of the bag and put them on the side. So as you can see here, I have four green candies. Now go in the bag and take two red candies and put them aside. So I have two red candies right here. And then last but not least, you're gonna go in the bag and take out three blue candies and then put them on the side. So now we're gonna make a bar that shows the numbers that we just got out. So first I want you to go to the blue candy section and take your small blue candies and put them in the blue candy section so you can see how many there are and how far up you need your bar to go. Just like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our red candies. So take your red candy and place them in the box so you can see how many there are and how far up you need your bar to go. 
And then we're gonna do the last thing with the green candies. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just putting them in a line and it helps you see how far up your bar is gonna go. So it should look like that when you're done. All right, so go ahead and take your black marker or your pencil or your pen again. And we're gonna go to this first category, blue candies. And how many blue candies are there? Good, there are three. So we're going to draw a bar like this up to the three line. So we're gonna move the candies over, the blue candies, and we're gonna start right about the bottom right here. And we're gonna draw up to the three line, over and down, drawing a little bar around where our candies would be. So now let's move on to red. How many red candies are there? Two, good job. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw a bar going up to the two to represent two candies. So let's move these over and we'll start right about here again. And we're gonna go one, two, over and down. So now we have a red candies bar. And then last but not least, we have green candies. So how many green candies are there? Four, good job. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna move these over and then we're gonna put a little dot down and we're gonna go up and we're gonna draw to the four line over and down. And these do not at all have to be perfect. Mine are a little crooked as you can see and you can always have a grown up help you with this. But the next thing we're gonna do is color them in. So go ahead and color the bars in the colors that we just set. So for example, you're gonna color the blue bar in with blue, the red bar in with red, and the green bar in with green. And then come back when you're done. All right, so that's what we should look like when we're done. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna answer some questions about that. So pause this if you need to, look at it for a little bit, and then we're gonna answer some questions about it. All right, so let's start with these two questions. So the first question is, which group has the most candies? So think about that for a second. Green, right, and how many candies do they have? Four, good job. So we're gonna write green has four candies. Good job. So now let's answer this question. Which group has the fewest candies? Red, good job. And how many candies does red have? Two, good job. So we're gonna write, red has two candies. Good job. All right, so the next question says, how many more blue candies are there than red candies? So first let's think about how many blue candies are there? There are three, right. And how many red candies are there? There are two, right. So we're gonna do a little subtraction problem. So because we have three blue candies minus two red candies, we're gonna do three minus two, which is one. Good job. So three minus two is one. So that means that we have one more blue candy than red candy. So let's write that together. We have one more blue candy than red candy. Good job. All right, so the next question says, how many less red candies are there than green candies? So first, how many green candies do we have? Four. And how many red candies do we have? Two, good job. So. Let's do that problem like we just did in the last one. So we have four green candies, so we're gonna write four, minus two for two red candies. And what's four minus two? Two, good job. All right, so that means that our answer is we have two less red candies than green candies. So let's write that down. We have two less red candies than green candies. Good job. All right, we have one more question in this group. The question says, which group has more candies? The green group or the blue group? So I'll let you think about that for a second. 
All right, and what is the answer? Green, good job, because green has four candies while blue has three. So we can just write here, green. Good job. All right, so now we're gonna move on to talking about our picture graph today. So here I drew a picture graph of flowers. So pause the video and take a look at how many flowers are in each group. You can pause it for as long as you need to and you can write down how many are in each group too if you wanna make sure. All right, so now let's answer some questions about our picture graph. So the first question says, which group has the fewest flowers? So what's the answer to that? Yellow, right, because how many flowers does it have? One, good job, it has one flower. All right, so let's write yellow has one flower. Good job. So the next question says, which group has the most flowers? So think about that for a second. Good job, pink. Pink has the most flowers. And how many flowers does it have? Five flowers, good job. So let's write, pink has five flowers. Good job. All right, so the next question says, how many more orange flowers are there than purple flowers? So how many orange flowers do we have? Four, good job. So let's write a four here. And how many purple flowers do we have? Two purple flowers, right, so let's write two right here. So what's four minus two? Two, right, so let's write a two here. And that means that we have two more orange flowers than purple flowers. So let's write that together. We have two more orange flowers than purple flowers. Good job. All right, so we have one more question before we're done with our picture graph. And it says, how many less yellow flowers are there than orange flowers? So how many orange flowers do we have? Four, good job. So we're gonna go ahead and write four. And how many yellow flowers do we have? One, good job. So we're gonna write one. And what's four minus one? Three, good job. So that means we have three less yellow flowers than orange flowers. All right, so let's write that down together. So we're gonna write, we have three less yellow flowers than orange. Done, good job. Thank you for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn some more soon. Please like and subscribe to our channel and we'll be back soon with more fun educational videos.